Wow, so you've said that uh, during masturbation, your penis it affects. Yes, so it the muscles are, are that, affected. Yeah, so when even you go to a vagina, you don't feel anything. Yes. And it becomes smaller. It becomes not small, it becomes nyambamba. Yeah. It becomes slimmer. There is a difference mm. between slimmer and smaller. Yeah. Length and oh, yeah. And, then, mm, and then also for ladies, that part becomes harder. I'm not saying people are even using water. You know, this this looks smooth at us and the wonder. Yes. Unani kula bale o nikule. Anyway, what is the next side difference? <laughs> Amazing. Wow, That's your son for you. Yes, thank you so much. <laughs> I want to say the next side effect that is very common to people who masturbate, mm -hmm. and especially the men, mm -hmm. is that it also affects the blood vessels. Mm -hmm. Remember the blood capillaries, mm -hmm. the blood vessels that fill in. For a penis to have an erection, mm -hmm. it is blood that fills in inside the penis for him to get that stiff, mm -hmm. strong erection. Mm -hmm. And I want to say this, a normal man, mm -hmm. A normal man, born of a woman, yeah. whatever age, you are supposed to erect five to eleven times in twenty-four hours, knowing mm -hmm. or not knowing. Mm -hmm. So for a man to erect is very normal. In fact, every morning when you wake up, mm -hmm. you're supposed to wake up when the penis is up. The mistake we do is to hold it. Don't grip. <laughs> leave it alone. Leave it alone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, leave, leave it alone. But within no time, it's going to come down because the testosterone. The hormone that is in the testes mm. uh, is higher in the morning from around 3 a.m. Mm. up to around 6 or 7. Mm. So you find most of the men when they wake up in the morning, even a small boy mm. will wake up when he is erected. Mm. And we need to tell our children when that happens, it, it means they are normal. Mm. They're not supposed to hold it. They're not supposed to hide it. Mm. They just bad yeah, it. Or feel bad about it. Mm. They're just supposed to remove that thought. Within a few minutes, mm. it will come down and shrink. Yeah. So we have said now the second side effect of masturbation mm -hmm. is that it interferes with the blood vessels. Mm -hmm. And we have said for you to be horny mm -hmm. as a woman mm -hmm. and for a man to be to have an, a still strong erection, mm -hmm. it is the blood that fills in the mm -hmm. penis. Mm -hmm. So what happens now? Because this muscle of the penis has has been interfered with, mm -hmm. it has now shrunk. Mm -hmm. So the blood vessels have to know how to fit in in That's this small space. penis. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because because now uh, the, 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 because they have been they, it has been messed it's up. It's just like mom. Yes. A family of ten may have a three bedroom and a bed sitter. Wow. <laughs> so that means you have to squeeze yourself yeah, you Thank you. That. That's a very good instruction. <laughs> I love the way you you, yeah. you articulate yeah. it. So you find now the 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 blood vessels inside the mm. penis begins to meander. Yeah. Meander is like forming. It's like it, it coils. It goes mm. up down meandering. Yeah. So what happens to this husband? He feels in the brain is erected, but when he touches the penis, it's it is still very feeble. It is not strong, and it frustrates so many men. Wow! I once saw a you comment get, on mm. social media yes. about a lady saying that the muse anafanya kila kitu mpaka blowjob, but the guy is always classy. Yeah. That is one of the causes yes, of so erectile, yeah. erectile dysfunction. Yes, erectile dysfunction. Mm -hmm. The erectile dysfunction means you are getting you are getting an erection but you can't maintain it. Mm -hmm. It's not strong. It's not stiff. Some even men will tell you, I get that erection, I have to use my fingers to support to, it. To support it to mm -hmm. get into the vagina. <laughs> and that's very frustrating. Then number three thing, mm -hmm. which is the worst is that it messes around with the nerves. Mm -hmm. Remember for you to have sexual pleasure, mm -hmm. it is the nerve endings mm -hmm. that are at the tip of the penis and the shaft of the penis, mm -hmm. and the nerve endings that are at the clitoris and two, two to three inch of the vagina mm -hmm. that makes a woman has that pleasure, feel that pleasure, that orgasm mm -hmm. comes through the nerves. Mm -hmm. So now what happens uh, with, uh, with masturbation, what it does, mm -hmm. these nerves, there's a nerve that picks information from the penis and from the vagina to the brain mm -hmm. and another nerve that picks the information from the brain to the to the yeah, penis yeah. or to the vagina mm -hmm. that suck, suck, that circuit mm -hmm. is interfered with by masturbation mm -hmm. that's why any person who does who has done masturbation for quite a long time mm -hmm. whether you're a man and a woman you can never be sexually satisfied by your husband or by your wife mm -hmm. why you are used to tightier things 
Hada means rough. Mm -hmm. You get that. Masturbation has been so much painted to be a very good thing, yeah. but at the end of the day, yeah. uh, we don't know that we are destroying like what I've said now the nerves. Yeah. And that's why I keep saying that uh, if you, if you are uh, not married mm -hmm. and you have a challenge with masturbation, mm -hmm. marriage is not a solution. Mm -hmm. You need to yes. deal with this spirit number one spiritually, and then now you need to also deal with it physically because mm -hmm. masturbation has destroyed your your muscles, yeah. it has also destroyed your Mind. blood vessels, mm. and then it has also destroyed your nerves, and uh, most importantly, it also messes your thinking. That's why most of the people who are masturbators mm. are very suicidal. They have mental sicknesses, depression, because they, they, they know this thing is not good, but they don't know how to stop it. Mm -hmm. And so mm -hmm. I want to let everyone know that there's a solution. So whether you have destroyed the muscle, you have destroyed your blood vessels, whether you have destroyed your nerves, mm -hmm. there's a way out and I'm sure we are going okay, to discuss it. Yeah. Okay. yeah, so there's, there's, there's a message I just got here from a previous mm -hmm. show. Yes. And it's that I'm a married man, mm -hmm. married for now 10 years. Mm -hmm. I have four children. Mm -hmm. I've been masturbating for almost 13 years, mm -hmm. even before I got married. Right now, I can no longer satisfy my wife, mm -hmm. and I'm worried about it, and I feel like she needs her right that I cannot give her. What can I do? Wow. So this is someone who has been, if he's married 14 years and he has been doing, he began even before getting married, mm -hmm. and right now he can't satisfy his wife. I think it's either what you say, now what we have is, just is said. it either flabby? Yeah, it's either it's, the, the number one, the mm -hmm. muscles have been destroyed, the, the blood vessels is not able to fill in the penis uh, as required. Mm -hmm. And number three, he has a condition we call hypersensitivity. Mm -hmm. In the sense that when you get inside the vagina, mm -hmm. you just you just come. Mm -hmm. Because the temperature is too high in the vagina mm -hmm. compared with the one that you you, you, you generate yourself mm -hmm. with your hands. Yeah. So I want to say that there's a solution. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have a, a hospital in Kasarani mm -hmm. uh, where we have a team of medical doctors mm -hmm. who are able now to rectify with the new technology mm -hmm. they're able now to rectify the the blood vessels they're able to rectify the muscles that have been destroyed and also rectify the nerves that have been destroyed and more importantly we are able to do you counseling mm -hmm. and through that you're able to overcome and live a normal life like any other person so if you're there mm -hmm. and you're having a problem with masturbation or any other addiction, pornography, homosexuality, bestiality, I came to tell you there is a way out. Mm -hmm. Don't stay there, you know, condemning yourself, feeling like you are in a state that you cannot get in. Kindly get the number that is just on the screen mm -hmm. and through that we are able to help you and give you your new life because that's the purpose of this show, mm -hmm. is to, to give you back your life that you lost mm -hmm. out of ignorance. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. So I know you are enjoying the topic and you are learning so much. This is just a, not as a place to entertain you, but also to make you learn mm -hmm. so much. Mm -hmm. So we learned so much about masturbation and the effects. Mm -hmm. Now, there's someone who wants to come out of it. How do you come out of it? I think uh, before triggers. I get back to you, we have those triggers that trigger you to do it. Mm -hmm. Because you cannot solve a problem before, before you know the root cause of it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So one of them is maybe is idleness. And I always say that if you want to deal with the habit, replace that habit with another habit. Mm -hmm. Maybe reading or doing something else. A positive mm -hmm. habit. Yeah. So like idling, I know it's one of the biggest uh, contributors of masturbation. Yeah. Um, you have nothing to do. Mostly like you said, men, most of you lie on our back, it erects automatically. Yes. So now and then you end up Mm. It, because you are so idle, but you are so idle, you are so idle, you are so idle, you are so idle, you are so what else? Like? <laughs> Bad company. Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's something else. You know, the, the kind of people who are allowed you, mm -hmm. I mean, who do you hang up out with? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, they also in the same, uh, you know, habit like you are. Mm -hmm. So I think also it's important to check who are you working with? The word of God says uh, that the bad company mm. collapses good morals. Yeah. yeah. yeah? Mm. I think Psalm chapter well, one like that. says that blessed is the man mm. who does not walk in the company yes. mm. or in the counsel of the ungodly. Mm. Mm. Or, yeah? or stand exactly. in the way of, of sinners. sinners. Or a seat in the seat of the scornful. So it starts yeah. by walking. Uh -huh. And then, then you stand up to you and I say, well, that's what you pay me, kitty, me, kaya, so you excuse me. Then you end up practicing. You can corrupt you. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. so, so who hands allowed to you? Where do you go? Uh, what are you listening? Again, mm -hmm. that's something important. 
yeah. just yourself, are you listening to things that are, uh, you know, um, allowing you and taking you in that kind of a direction? Mm -hmm. Because we have said that if you watch the wrong things, if you say the wrong things, you end up going that direction. Yeah. You yeah. Know? Pornography and all that. What's the music yeah. that you watch? Maybe, How maybe just to, go to add mm. to what you, both of you are saying, mm. everything about life is energy. Mm. The kind mm. of energy you create around yourself, the kind mm. of energy you allow inside you. Mm. If you allow myself to a kind of energy that is perverse, mm. I will just start to, it will come out. Yeah, because the Bible says whatever is outside cannot, cannot corrupt, have, cannot, cannot corrupt mm. but mm. what is inside you. So over time, if you allow the gates, of perversion into your system, mm -hmm. it will now come out and manifest as is of it. One of them is masturbation. Mm -hmm. So if I'm listening maybe to a podcast, mm -hmm. a positive podcast of a man of God telling me about family, or maybe something on business, mm -hmm. or maybe okay, that social media, mm -hmm. the kind of groups I'm involved in are mm -hmm. positive wow. vibration group and energy. Mm -hmm. If I'm, I'm tuning to my YouTube, it's a podcast that at the end of the day, it will add to me. Mm -hmm. But you see what is happening currently, mm -hmm. the things we having are tools that are taken from us. Yeah. Yes. We should allow these tools to mm -hmm. serve us. For example, my phone. If my phone is filled with adult babes, mm -hmm. naked babes, mm -hmm. who are masturbating, it's not serving me. It's yes. taking away my energy. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. the moment I create that energy of perversion, there will be friction between me and my husband. Mm. But if I feed mm. myself with positive energy, how to understand, create emotional, stable environment in my place, mm. and maybe I feed myself with the word of God, Mom said something about feeding yourself. Mm. I don't think there will be room for... Such things. Yeah, or even mm. pornography, because one of the contributors, main contributors of masturbation is pornography. Mm. So energy. Just watch your energy. Your energy can be in form of people. If you have friends who are so dirty, mm. so so perverse, or you are watching music that is perverse, one of the things I really wanted to do in my life is to create an environment where I don't have something. Nikilala, it plays in my mind, mm. and I really wonder what is this thing? It's not helping mm. me, but it's the or a song. Yeah. Mm. I want something that at the end of the day, Niki and Maria, mm. what have I gained from this? Mm -hmm. This is my computer. This is my phone. How is it helping me? Mm -hmm. So I think the energy, we really have to guard our energy in form of people, information. Where on us? I don't want to mention a blogger who is against marriage, marriage mm -hmm. family, and you are hoping to have a marriage. You are watching people who are glorifying sex, casual sex, mm -hmm. and you are married woman. You are watching people who are, who, are, who are glorifying exchange for money, sex. That is an energy you are creating. Mm -hmm. However faithful you are, one day you will follow that energy. Yeah. Wow. So guard your energy. To add on what you are saying, before mm. I crown it up, yes. mm. yeah, when you talked about bad company corrupts your good moral, mm. maybe someone doesn't that, I mean, I don't have any company, I can't get mm. Nowadays, social media is very funny. That this is the that they use, such that if you go on my TikTok, then I look for a, I just search maybe a naked woman, mm. and then I go and look at, then I like. Tomorrow, all suggestions will come of such women. naked women. Yeah. Ah. Go to Instagram, and then just look for Maybe business ideas. Business ideas. Yeah. We'll be seeing suggestions about businessmen, wow. business yeah. ideas, wow. podcasts. Wow. Go on the internet, just look for Apostle Joshua said, Man, you come tomorrow. Like like some uh, uh, um, pastor so shared upon uh, Apostle Solomon. Is that what I wanted to Peter Kelowaka? So you find that yeah. that now becomes your company. Mm. So you find that when you go to your Facebook page, by there I can easily tell what you want by just taking your phone and going through your Facebook page. Yeah. You see the pages that are coming, the people are being just... suggested to. I can take your phone, then just go to TikTok, then I can know what you always watch mostly. Mm. All right. But just attach and see the pages the coming, just scroll to one or two ladies, mm. ladies, women. Your... If you're watching and you'll get, get many They'll be coming, yeah. yeah. So you find that <laughs> nowadays that's the company you are keeping uh -huh. and they'll be suggesting for you what you watch. Mm. So first of all, same at me, Sina Marafiki, let me your first company is your social media. What are you having? So, mom, you can So, you can make the first step by starting positively. Yes, this, Did you hear something that mm. you really know. I like this thing. Wow. Not something that you don't want, but mm. you are clicking to see what happens on the other side. Yeah. You yeah. Click what happens. And maybe mm. also to, to share some, some light. Mm. There are some people who may say, I'm doing this because I don't have a way out. Uh, mm. let, let me explain. Mm. 
I, I live in Zimbabwe, mm -hmm. my wife is in Kenya. Mm -hmm. I don't want to go to Abertan. What do you want me to do? You get it, eh? So, long distance. Uh, yes, yes, so I'm looking at it like uh, someone is saying, Pastor, you don't understand. Mm. I don't want to go that way of adult. Mm -hmm. Yeah? And I am away from my family. So, this is the only way out towards this matter. So, I don't know. If you are to advise that kind of a person, mm -hmm. what would you say? Mm -hmm. Mom really answered it well the other day. Mom, please mm -hmm. take us through it. No, go, go, go <laughs> and share the knowledge. I also want to I, hear I like, that I like whatever like, you mm. said. Yes. And I really like it. I like learning much from my mom here. Yeah. Because Alisema Kitu, which I really agree with. Alisema, there is nothing she can ever prioritize over her family. Mm -hmm. And long distance marriage, she can never advise. Which is true. If you are married and you are living in Malindi and your wife is in Busia, mm -hmm. I think you are pro prioritizing that job or money over your family, yeah, which is very mm -hmm. impressive. Mm -hmm. So we should trust God to give us money alongside with our family. We attach our purpose mm -hmm. to life with our family mm -hmm. and our marriages. Mm -hmm. If we are serious about making our marriages work, mm -hmm. we will find a way of attaching our purpose. Even if it is finding work or business, let it be around our home, yeah. or we can involve our spouses oh, to yes. join us in whatever we do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just to add on, before yes. I know you have a very heavy point. <laughs> <laughs> so, just to add on what you are saying, yes. yeah. number one is that mm -hmm. God's idea on marriage is that the two should become one, yes. both physically, spiritually. So, we cannot be one, yet you are in Mombasa and I'm in Bungome. Oh, yes. You can look for how you can be together. <laughs> I understand you because we have got a job offers with yeah, the hand. Exactly. Very many, not one or two. Since we've got, I've gotten so many people that was trying to take them from family. I've stopped them from going to those jobs. Same to her. She has gotten offers that if this offer comes, we cannot move together. Maybe me, I'm working in Kakamega, she has been called Nairobi. You are saying, I'm a normal. Yes, because we prioritize our marriage number one. Wow. And since we got married, we've not been away from each other for more than one week. We can make a feel like dog in a road. There cannot be more for them. So now you're telling me, you go, then you call your wife. It never works for us. There, there was a time I was working on a field work. I was doing an enumeration job. Mm. My husband, it was a, a three week work. Mm. He, he came. He used to, to go. travel overnight just to come and be with me mm. a bit because mm. it was off work. Yeah. So you see, such like. Priorities. Yeah, and then number two mm -hmm. uh, about about uh, what you said. So you are saying that you don't want to masturbate. Yes. Because you want yeah, to. Yeah, you want to masturbate because your wife. You, is you want to masturbate because your wife is away. <laughs> yes. It's just that you are saying, Mimi stay kufanya kwa department he munipeleke kwa he, but under the same boss. <laughs> so the same speech controlling them. That's right. Mimi stay kufanya kwa sales department munipeleke kwa department ya import and export, but under the same company. Yes. Still sinning. Yeah, that's very true. Mm. And uh, you see, the word of God is very clear. When, we read, when you read the book of Malachi, yeah. in Amplified Version, verse 2, verse 16, mm. the word of God says that God hates marital separation mm. and divorce. Mm. Marito, anything that comes into marriage mm. and separates a husband mm. and a wife wow. away, God says, I hate that. Because he knows mm. nature does not allow vacuum. That's why all this other perversion is coming in because you're supposed to be together with your husband and your wife, but now you have created a vacuum. Mm -hmm. And nature mm -hmm. does not allow what? Vacuum. That's why you're finding now masturbation will come in, uh, pornography will come in, uh, adultery will come in, because you created a, a, a space. A, a space. Mm -hmm. And that's why it's very important to, to understand what Berry has just said, mm -hmm. that, that number, your marriage must be number one. Any decision that is being made for the family, whether relocation, whether job, whether what, it's very important to look at the family and ask one another candidly now that you want to go to abroad for five years what will i be doing with my sexual life mm, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. na nani. ask each other because some of the times most of the things that we we we, we consider mm -hmm. as open doors we don't consider sex mm -hmm. we think tumefanyana sana ukienda atasita kuwa ninakufit after three months after not even three months mm -hmm. after one month you can't be able to hold your erection. Three after three days. Yes. 
So you see now. Yeah. So that's why it's very important for you to understand each other and know mm. that there are things you cannot compare. And I want to say this. God is not in a place. Mm -hmm. yes. God is in you. In us, yeah. And the same God who is making other people rich here in this country, mm. making them millionaires and billionaires. Mm. Why don't we trust him yes. that he can also do it? Because God is omnipresent. Yeah. And there is no place in this world where God lives more than than, than, than uh, yeah. another place. Yeah. So it's just a matter of uh, us making up a decision. Like the way we made up, when we were quite young and we didn't know much, mm -hmm. we agreed with Pastor that we will never go out of this country mm. uh, if we are not together. Mm. Wow. If one gets a visa and another one is denied, we, that we call it, we cancel, we cancel yes. that. Mm -hmm. And that has been, and God has honored us. Anytime we go for, to ask for a visa, God's faithfulness, we are either given or denied. Wow. There's nobody who is given one. Mm -hmm. And so those are things that should guide your marriage mm -hmm. so that you don't create any vacuum of being not together. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, now you open the door of masturbation, you open the door of bestiality. Oh, yes. So, so I would uh, uh, summarize what you have said yes. with two things. Yes. That there are two things that we will not forgive you mm -hmm. when you don't do them at the right time. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. One of them is parenting. Mm -hmm. Children will keep on growing. Mm -hmm. They'll not be children forever. Wow. wow. They will hit 18 years. They are now adults. Mm -hmm. What you never did when they were 7 years, 12 years, you not say, let me last to mm -hmm. Nigeria for 10 years. I'll come to start where I stopped. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can't is. pick up. You can't it. pick up on that. Mm -hmm. Once that age is gone, it is gone forever. It is gone. So you meet now with an adult, not with a child, after wow. those 10 years or 17 years. Powerful. All right? Powerful. So when you're handling this man or a lady, you handle them like an adult. Mm -hmm. And an adult can choose what they want to do, what they don't want to do. Mm -hmm. So parenting, you can't put it on hold. It doesn't forgive. Mm -hmm. If you don't do it at the right time. Wow, that's The powerful. second one mm -hmm. is now family or marriage or to a tour. Once you create that gap and you you are not there, I mean it doesn't forgive. Wow. We have always said mm -hmm. that you know this life does not allow you to have a vacuum mm -hmm. that you can say you can live in a in a, in a vacuum. Mm -hmm. So if you're supposed to do something today and you don't do it, you don't come to Kai and say, Okay, for ten years I was not here, let me now You cannot. You can't. Oh. Just like you cannot delegate so sex to your husband. Exactly. To someone else. Exactly. You can't delegate sex to your husband. Mm -hmm. And you cannot delegate sex to be done on behalf of your husband or your wife. Mm -hmm. That exactly. is something that you personally have to do. Yeah. Personally. You, can't, personally have to you do. can't delegate. Yeah. And anything you're not delegating in marriage, then it's something that means you are present very much. Even parenting, mm -hmm. it's very challenging to delegate. Mm -hmm. Even to your own people, there are things. It's very challenging. Very you are the only person who understands your children. Oh yes. You are the only person who knows what needs to be done. Oh yes. So these two, if you delegate them or you give to somebody else, you mess up. You mess up and that's the end. Wow. Okay. Now we want to just conclude. I want each one of us just to give the last shots and then you call Tara. So we'll begin with my small beautiful wife. <laughs> Let me just say I've been so blessed by the information we've gotten from the show. If you are addicted to masturbation, just remember masturbation is never an option. There is a lot of things that we are not told about it that are really detrimental to our health, psychological health, emotional health, and spiritual health. And that can take us to financial health. If you're looking for somebody to open up to, Remember, I'm a sister, my husband is a brother, and any other person in our show can be a shoulder to lean on. God bless you. If you are new on the show, kindly remember to subscribe and support our show. Like our pages on Facebook and share the information with some other person who might need it. Are you there and you are a man? There's something I want to remind you. That anything that you are doing today, it is a sin. It may not be known or seen by people. But when you put a seed on the ground, at the right time, 
that seed will come up. What kind of legacy will you leave for your family? I want you to remember this. That the greatness of any man is determined by the cause he lives for. And the price he is willing to pay for his achievement. Would you want to be remembered? What will you be remembered for? Make the right choice. And the choice you make, one day, one time, people will say, you made the right choice. God bless you. I love you. If you're there and you're struggling with masturbation, you could be a man, you could be a woman, you could be a husband and a wife. I want to let you know that there is a solution. There is a way out. You don't need to continue struggling in your private life. And as I have said, they have a team of medical doctors who will come and treat all those side effects of masturbation. And also we are able to help you with counseling and, and even those who need prayer, we are able to offer that prayer so that you can get out of this masturbation and be able to live a free life. I want to say that don't stay there feeling ashamed, feeling guilty, condemning yourself, feeling like there is, there is no one who can understand you. I want to let you know from today, there is no sin that you can imagine which is greater than the love of God. And we are not here to condemn you or to judge you. We are here to help you. Some of you got into masturbation when you were very young. So you thought it's all about pleasure. But right now you know that there are so many side effects that are following you up. Instead of torturing your mind and having psychological disorders because of masturbation and, and pornography and any other thing that you feel is out of norm. We came to tell you that there's a solution. So if you're there, kindly contact us with the numbers that are going down the screen, the screen and from there we are able to help you and see the way out. Mine is to wish you all the best. Until the next show, God bless you. Masturbation. Today we have demystified the demon called masturbation in our relationships, in our families and in our marriages. I know you have learned. If you haven't, I have learned so, so much. And the good thing is that we found that there is a solution to this big demon called masturbation. Our aim of this show is to bring restoration, to bring love, and to bring health back to our marriages. I know you have learned. Until next time, this is Naked and Not Ashamed Show. Sure.